We are going to get right back into verses, though, with the two champions now. So you, that was not worthy of applause, but whatever. So this is for the ultra championship. Yeah, pretty much. Uh, so we are getting into Dustin versus Walsh. And first off, guys, what what is on the line this time? So what we're going to play for is, you know, me and Kev have been close friends for a really long time. We, we figured we had the chest wax with Lundy. We got the nails on Teddy coming up. Uh, we wanted to do something uh, a little more, I guess, less physically painful. Uh, so the loser of of our best of, are we going to do five, seven? What are we thinking? Best of seven, probably? That's a, Yeah, I mean. Best yeah, of we'll seven, seven, let's call seven. So first of four, uh, the loser is going to take the winner for a carriage ride in in the winter time or fall wherever we're at when it ends there's no fall at uh, heritage ranch uh we're gonna go out for dinner uh paid for by the loser at one of our uh our partners or tourism red deer partners and then we're gonna go to a movie maybe we'll make it a horror movie eh, Kev? <laughs> yeah I let's don't make know. out baby yeah, he's gonna, he's gonna... <laughs> i'm gonna take you to the ring <laughs> <laughs> so that other than having to pay that sounds like a pretty nice i and like can london i just come i like, mean you whoa, guys can yeah, double date it yeah. if you want sounds like a nice date to me. maybe maybe what we should do then uh is you guys should bet on who do you think is gonna win um and then we can double date it so one of you can pay for the other guy to to come along tag along be in the horse carriage behind us and then we'll uh, obviously go for dinner and then the movie as long as we agree when we make these games to keep them as fair as possible for both sides no matter who we bet on i'm in Okay, and if you do cheat, just don't get caught. Okay. Okay. Yeah. If you're not cheating, you're not trying. Lund, I'm in, and I'll let you pick first. I'll go with Mr. Ripped, Kevin Walsh. Boom! All right. I got um, you, buddy. I'll take Dustin. <laughs> All right. That's cool, partner. <laughs> yeah. Uh, we, we already talked about a bunch of hockey season. You guys are big hockey fans, but how well do you know your local hockey? And don't worry, we made it so that... This isn't just going to be the, the Dustin show either, even though now in hindsight, I wish I did. So we're going to play a little game called What the Puck. You get it? I got it. Yeah, that was that was great. All right. So we have six questions, but there is a chance to get up to 15 points. So we'll let you know in each question how many points it's worth. Um, with a tiebreaker, if needed, most points wins. Lundy, kick us off. Uh, this question is uh, uh, for a potential of four points. Dustin Moore never played in the NHL, but many Red Deerians did. Who is a la- who is the last Red Deer native to be drafted by an NHL team? And for three bonus points, name the year, team, and round he was drafted. So I don't know how to exactly pronounce his name, and I'm sorry, but I believe it's Josh M- Mahara. Mirahara. Mahara. Um, Mahara. Okay. Yeah. Not uh, a Red Deer native. No. Oh, damn. I, yeah. I saw you write that, and I was a little worried that I got it wrong. He was a Red Deer rebel. Yeah. And uh, his his cousin's from Red Deer, so, but not him. And you said Anaheim fifth round I said round Anaheim 2018. fifth round 2018. Yeah. So you got zero points. Is I, it? No. No? No. Not even close. Did you look at this? Yeah. yeah. Glenn Wesley to the Hartford Whalers in 1991 in the fourth round. You think round? that was the most recent Red I, Deer? I was hoping not, I, but that's the first uh, one I could think of. So yeah, I actually enough. had the answer to this wrong at first, but you remember our friends, uh, well, uh, like Paul Postma? Yeah. Or like Colton. was Colton Ski- Sevier. Yeah. That so was where I was going to those guys go. aren't even the answer. Lundy, tell us who it is. The correct answer was Andrew Nielsen. Oh, was yeah. drafted by the Toronto, Toronto Maple, Maple Leafs. Leafs. In the sixth round. In the third round. In 2017. 2015. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. That was a tough one. That I, yeah. My original answer was That's wrong, a- and I went back, because I had Sevier and Postma, and then I realized, I said, no, I think there's someone sooner. So. That guy. My uh, brain just couldn't get past. A, it was a tough one. Glenn Wesley and I then McGregor, sure McGregor Sharp. Right McGregor the, Sharp, yeah, I couldn't get one. past him. So, so I was just thinking yeah. old school. Yeah, yeah, yeah we're, we're not past. here to make you guys look good. We're here to learn. So here's a, a here's an uh, up to three point question. So Dustin and Lund both played for the Red Deer Senior Wrestlers, which of course was a rebirth of the legendary Junior A franchise. A couple players from that team went on to not only play in the NHL, but also to win a Stanley Cup. So which junior wrestlers alumni was the last to win a cup as a player? One bonus point, each of you can name the team and the year. What in the convoluted hell is this hockey trivia? 
Sorry, Aaron, it's not horse stuff. Can yeah. we go back to PV Mart? <laughs> yeah. PV Mart. Horse stuff and a whole lot of shit. Okay, so here's my real answer. Uh Brent Sutter nope. in nineteen okay. Brian Sutter in nineteen eighty nine with Chicago. Uh I just had Sutter. <laughs> which is correct. Yeah, smart. Yeah. Uh I had nineteen eighty three in New York Island. So Dustin, your first answer of Glenn Wesley. Okay, I was who thinking won with Glenn. Carolina in 2005, right uh, before his retirement. So he, I believe, was the last Rustlers alumni playing at that time too. So a little tricky again because he was a little later than you, you might expect. So, wow, 0-0. Zero, zero. Question number three. Six members of the legendary Sutter family all played for the Rustlers, and all six w- went on to play in the NHL. Can you name all six? You get half a point for each person you name, and we need first and last names. I believe I got all seven brothers. I know I don't have them all. I have Brent, Brian, Daryl, Dwayne, Brock, and Dick. <laughs> so you have four correct, so you got two points. Brian, Brent, Rich, Ron, Daryl, Dwayne, and Dog. Rich, Rich and Ron. Rich. So Dick, Dick wasn't even that far off. It was it's yeah. It's that, short. I but should get a point. I don't for think that. he goes by that Half. though. Richard, so a quarter. So what did he quarter. mean by dog? There, there's a seventh brother that apparently is the best out of all seven oh, of them, never but never did. played. Yeah, yeah he okay. he ran the farm. All right, we'll give you all three points, sir. Yeah. Thank you. So it's a three, you two, seven? score. Yeah, I listed all seven. Yeah, yeah, and we only asked for six, so actually you get zero for not following instructions. So three, two, on that one. And uh, here, here's one I think you're both going to get. Because as you may know, Mr. Ryan Lund is a provincials champion. What year did he lead the Red Deer Vipers to the Junior B provincial title? I assumed you I assumed you led. Oh, yeah, I led. Led, I led. With, led without a letter type. Or did you have a letter that year? Oh, no, I didn't have a letter. But I led, I led through... Uh, determination, perseverance, and sheer will. And I got a, oh. I got a kind of, I got a kind of a meet cute story that was behind this one too. Two thousand five, two thousand six. We have, we have a tie game. The correct answer is two thousand six. Yeah. What a change! And just, just a cool thing, Lund. What else, what else happened after provincials? Got laid. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm kidding. No. <laughs> <laughs> well, that you. It would be cool if you did. <laughs> You should. <laughs> Junior B provincials? Come on. Yeah. But in all seriousness, it didn't end there for, no, you, for you guys. No, 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 it didn't. Uh, just a short 10 years later, Ted, we had a 10 year reunion. <laughs> Coincidentally, that's enough. not what I was thinking of either. Didn't, didn't you, you win, win Westerns? Westerns? <laughs> you guys won Westerns too. <laughs> I, think we, I, we, thought you were, I thought you were no. wanting to tell our meat cute story. No, I, I was wanting oh, to tell that story. Oh, my God. Okay, set me up again. Set me up again. <laughs> no, no, that's staying in. Oh, no, you're so good. One, they also won the Keystone Cup that yeah, year. So yeah, we won like everything. Westerns, yeah. Which is pretty much national. We couldn't yeah. go any further than we did. So you peaked back in 2006. Oh, yeah. yeah that, so, was, that was a good year. Yeah. <laughs> it was just like you did with that lovely lady after you won for Mitchell's. <laughs> 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 couldn't go any further. <laughs> So what Lund was alluding to as well is, yeah, in 2016, so I hadn't even been in Red Deer for a year and Dustin and I were at, uh, the Vipers were hosting Provincials and they had the the 10-year celebration of that team. So that's why I remembered it was 2006. And that's the night I Dustin introduced me to Lund. And it's, You're welcome. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Thank and you. And look where you guys are now. Yeah. What question are we on? Four. Five of six. Oh, five. Whoa. Oh, seven. <laughs> I have six here twice. So there are seven questions and a bonus. <laughs> oh, this changes my whole strategy. Question five. Uh, it's a two-point question. Uh, closest to on each of these answers. How many points did I have with the Vipers that year in 2006? And how many points did I have with the Red Deer Senior Wrestlers in 2019? And this is just according to the online stats. Oh, which, yeah. They, yeah, they... Yeah. Probably missed a ton of second yeah, assists. Oh, yeah. I think I remember you being pretty good that year, Lundy. I know you're not talking about the wrestlers. No, no, no. Yeah. 2006, I said 49. And with the wrestlers, I said five. Okay. Oh, man. I think I might have lost both these. I, I went... Oh, I went in uh, 2006, I went 33. And in 2019, I went four. So in 2006, I was only credited with 22 <laughs> points. All right. In all right, 26 games. In 2000, 
19, I was only credited with two points. <laughs> <laughs> two for me. I know I had more than two, but... <laughs> No, we're, t- we're not talking press box hot dogs. Yeah. So So it was a two-point question with a two-point answer. And Dustin got the two points. Let's go. So 5-3. Once again, I gave you too much credit. Yeah, man. Yeah. Thanks, for, thanks for thinking <laughs> so highly of me. The 22 points in 26 games is pretty good. Though. I mean, I, I I sat out a lot of games that year for the Vipers. So I was I was pretty big in badminton that year, too. Yeah. So. <laughs> <laughs> You were a very good badminton. Oh, yeah. yeah. How yeah. many smashes did I have in 2006? Well, you had one right after Provincials. <laughs> <laughs> I was thinking the exact same thing. I couldn't even finish that <laughs> joke. All right. This is a one-point question. So Dustin Moore and Ryan Lund both have pages on Elite Prospects and Hockey DB. For Dustin played Junior A uh, Western Hockey League. Lund played junior B and and wrestlers, so senior, double A. Which, for those who don't know what hockey DB or elite prospects are, they're just statistical sites. So does Kevin Walsh, who played junior B in Pinoca, have a page on at least one of those sites? And I, I asked this question because I'm not even sure if Kevin knows. You got to Google yourself more, Kevin. Yeah, no phones. Oh, yeah, I don't do that. Let's see who knows I, Kevin I think, better. I think I used to. So I don't know if I still do, but I'll say yes. I also said yes. So the answer is no. Oh. So sorry, sorry, man. <laughs> there, okay. there are Kevin Walsh's on there, but I could not find you, which oh. is surprising because usually like anything junior B and up, but but you're not on there right now, so maybe you need to write a letter. Yeah, yeah it's probably the... Yeah, I'm not too worried manager. about it. Hey, wrestlers are starting yeah. up. If you want to go skate in one game, you'll be on there. So it is still 5-3 going into the last question. Who is the highest scoring Red Deer native to have played in the NHL? Bonus point if you can guess within 50 points of how many points he had. I went with Kyle Pass zero. <laughs> <laughs> that is incorrect. So you didn't even want to you didn't even want to take a guess and try and the door is wide open for you, Walsh. I said Mike Moeller, 300 points. That is wrong. It was Glenn Wesley <laughs> with 537 points. No way. Yeah. Mr. Mr. Wesley again. All right. Oh, you really fucked up there, Walsh. Win one number nothing. one. One nothing lead. All right. Well, at least that game A, we, we learned some stuff because it's easy to, to focus on on all the big sports stats, but some pretty cool. Uh, I actually enjoyed researching this one and, and learning some stuff about Central Alberta hockey. Yeah, that was, that was uh, good research, Ted. And uh, now, now we know. Now we know who the best uh, Red Deerians are. Yeah, and since this episode is going to be so short, do you guys want to take a quick crack at the bonus question? For science. Yeah. So if you wanted to go see a high-level hockey game in Central Alberta, um, really, let's say anything junior hockey and above. And we're going to say between Olds and Pinoca, north to south, Rocky Mountain House to Stettler, well, I guess west to east, how many options do you have? Ten. Seven. So the answer, and I could be wrong, but there's at least 13. Oh, Wow. So you, you would have won if you would have made overtime. You would have won. Yeah, Glenn Wesley got you again. So there's the Olds Grizzlies, Olds College Broncos, Red Deer Senior Rustlers, Red Deer Vipers, Red Deer Kings and Queens, Red Deer Rebels, Sylvan Lake Wranglers, Lacombe Generals, Black Falls Bulldogs, Black Falls Wranglers, Rocky Rams, Stetler Lightning, and the Innisfail Eagles. So uh, if you ever complain there's no hockey to watch around town, you are. A big fat liar. I'm well on my way to a carriage ride. That's yeah. all I know. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> uh, I'm not. <laughs> oh, dear.